Good. Just let me get to the paper. Sorry. <laughs> Certainly. Mm. Mm. That's more nice yet. All right. A bit of that. And what sort of paper are we looking at? Um, this is acid-free paper. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, uh, this is the only thickness I can find in town. Right. <laughs> it's a bit thick, um, but uh, I have used ordinary blotting paper quite successfully. Right. I tried that; it was a catastrophe. I think. I <laughs> it's quite coarse, isn't it, blotting yeah. paper? That's right. But um, it broke. It, um, it, it, uh, oops. Is this like cartridge paper? Uh, no, this it's, is not cartridge paper. It's thinner than... Uh, it's acid-free, yeah, I acid understand. Free, but uh, um, I was proposed cartridge paper, but she said I cannot put water. I cannot wet them because okay. they, they don't go um, very well. In the but some people do know that you can use cigarette paper. Mm -hmm. So cigarette paper works as well. You can also do a squeeze with, um, um, what do you call it? Uh, oh, latex. Stop latex. it. Stop it. The stuff you pour. Latex. 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 Right. Yeah. I, I wondered whether that might be a new material that is superseding paper. No, no because it doesn't keep so well. No. It, right. I understand. You need to um, uh, put tar powder on it. Mm -hmm. So that uh, as a, yeah, as a releasing it, agent. Yeah, and also because uh, if you don't, first it's going to stick mm -hmm. on itself. So uh, after a while, uh, and if it you sticks don't, to itself. Yeah, yeah, and if you don't do it regularly, also once you keep it, then yes. it becomes very brittle, and and your squeeze will yeah. break into uh, okay. pieces. But it's. I find it better than paper because it's so clear the text on on the latex. I find the um, it depends a little on the slope, but I find the um, latex ones actually show you a little bit more. Yeah. There was a, a project done in Westminster Hall about two years ago. I don't know if you came across yes, this. Yes, I did hear about it. Where they wanted to clean the yeah. inside wall. And an artist decided that if he combined cleaning it with taking a, a latex yeah. pressing, or and they, they managed to build it up to three millimetres thick yeah. or so, peel the whole thing yeah. off, and it took all of the dirt off. And I could understand that yeah. on a squeeze, if you were taking the dirt off, yeah. you might be able to read it even better. Yes, that's right. Yeah. But but preferably wash it first. Yeah, the problem, right. the thing is that, yeah, she has... Joy says you have to wash your stone first. This one we don't need it because they are, they are keen. But yes. outside there will be moss, there will be other things. Yes. So you take your brush and you start yeah. to uh, brush it. First you ascertain whether the stone is going to well, the, the, fragment the, when the, you do that. The porcelain pressings I was taking, I did brush the stone first, uh -huh. but it left some dirt in which came out on the clean white yes. porcelain, but then when I fired it in my kiln, it that it all burnt off and it was pure yeah. white again. Yeah. Yes. So anyway. Yes, I see. Yes. Yeah. So right. Yeah. Well, no. So this is a, a Latin inscription. That's right. Yes, yes, that's right. Have you worked with languages that are uh, disappeared? You know. No, I've only worked. Well, I've worked with. Um, Greek quite a lot, more than with Latin, in fact, mm -hmm. and also with, uh, well, yes, with uh, a North African language uh, from a bit south of Saranaica, I can't, can't remember what mm -hmm. it's called now, uh, but uh, as I can't read that, I... <laughs> I was going to ask whether you were, you know, multilingual <laughs> as a result no. of, uh, of finding <laughs> fragments <laughs> of things. <Okay. laughs> So, right. right now. So, the first thing, you have to wet your stone. When did you last do one of these? Oh, a long time ago. <laughs> and you? 
uh, <laughs> last autumn. Yeah. yeah, no doubt you just do this right. on a regular basis. And do you go out on, on digs or, you know, on, uh, on site? Not so much, no. Mm -hmm. seems to be softer. Yeah, but it's also wet. Yeah. Okay. And, and, wow. I thought you were going to damage it at first. Yeah. You were... That's why you have to wrap right. it top. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it depend on the stone. There are some yeah. stones, of course, that aren't. You can't do that. Yeah. And you can presumably do this in fairly inaccessible locations. Oh, yes. Yes, and you're, yes. all you're taking away is a, a sheet of paper. You've got water. Yeah. You see, if you go, as I often did in the past, out into a desert area, yeah. um, it just doesn't do. Right. <laughs> then later it will be better, I suppose. And do you, do you leave it to dry, or can you gently peel it off yeah, as it is? to dry. Yeah. Ideally, you leave it to dry. Right. Practically, with the students, we have to uh, evacuate the premises anyway, oh, so you off. peel them off. <laughs> you can peel it off and you'll see what happens. We well, we can, oh, we, can, we can leave it a little while, but... Yeah, doesn't matter. We can try another one. And now if you That's turn it the other way around, you will see it nicely. It it certainly is. Yes. And that's a, a as we know, a, a mirror image of, uh, yeah. of what's there. So you get adept at reading backwards? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Or do you also photograph or oh, write, photograph write and well. you write it yes. in, in yeah. situ? Yes. It's clear that now with digital photographs you get very, very good quality yeah. uh, images. And, and that is really nice, and you can enlarge them, you can do a lot of things. Uh, I, I you found a, a website uh, page from, I think it's the Smithsonian Institute, mm -hmm. and you can look at lots of, uh, well, from different, uh, different sort of dig sites or whatever, and they've got inscriptions and photographs of them mm -hmm. that have been taken with some lighting device there which lights it from all the way round yeah. and then when you look at it on the screen you can move a cursor around and and it yeah, shows you very that, acute yes. lighting. If I have not seen one of, the, one of that but yes I can I, see that. I, I, I have it on my laptop so yes. I, can, I can show you but yes, yes, I don't I know see. whether that may... I mean you've still got to have had very good photos from all around which I don't yeah. imagine you could do in the middle of nowhere. No, still. no it's difficult. Besides, yeah. um, whereas this is very, lo it's very low tech and yes, and yes. very portable, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. that's right. And it gives you an exact print of the stone, whereas the photo, you have no clue how big, yeah. how no. small it is. Mm -hmm. I, I always find that with, um, if you look through a, a book of photographs of paintings. Yes. Yeah they're all reduced to the size that they get shown in a book. Exactly. Yes. And yeah. so you've got no idea of brush marks or, yeah. or you know, evidence yeah. of... of no, sort of that's right. Exact yeah. So I, I think this, is, uh, this gives us an exact mm -hmm. reproduction. I, 
that's quite.